Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part three of my full platinum walkthrough for Resident Evil 7. Right, we are going to the old house. We're going to deal with Marguerite. This time we've just dealt with Jack, so he's all ticked off. Excellent. We are in exactly the same place where we left off uh, in the at the end of the previous video. We are in the, um, the trailer still in the garden. So that's what we're going to go. We're going to go round to the old house, somewhere we've not been at all this time. And we're not going to run down here because I've <laughs> I just watched my recording and this is the gate we'll be using later. So I'm turning myself around. Don't worry, doesn't happen often. <laughs> uh, there's some ammo, uh, sorry, some gunpowder here. So grab that out. That uh, bird bath. What was that? I don't know. Anyway, we're going round this way. This is the main gate in to the old house. This is the one we saw on the video uh, with Mia in the videotape. So it should look semi-familiar. Uh, we're going to be using pretty much the same path as well. Wooden crates here. This one will not give you anything. There's just roaches in this one. But this one, I, when I, I said in the previous video, you get that random element. I've definitely had bullets from that. I've got video evidence of it. So the crates can be random. So that's why I've marked them off as uh, just crates. So what you want to do when you walk into this place for the uh, first thing is get your knife out and then slash the fly that comes flying towards you is usually on that window there and then you've got the other two on the walls as well the reason we're using the knife is to get the trophy there that is uh, things got personal which is for finishing off an enemy with a knife and as we are just using a knife to kill an enemy they only take one hit and that's fine so we want to kind of quickly run through here you don't need to get those big flies you can leave them but you're going to be followed by those little flies they don't do too much damage uh, but they come from the nest in that room you know, we'll just want to run through that room and uh, get round through to here to get the old house map. That's where we are. So that's where we just came through. You've got the dining room, the living room there. We're not going to go there just yet. We're going to get a another trophy in a moment, actually. So there's another plinth there. If you didn't get the trophy for whatever reason for putting the wrong item on a plinth, then you can do it here as well. This is the corner we were hitting with Mia. Uh, can't pick this up because we're a bit full, don't worry. There is a safe room here directly ahead of us. And here is a backpack. You will get the in the bag trophy for picking up a backpack. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, really, oh, I'm changing my ammo. I still had the, uh, the powerful ammo on. So grab the backpack and you get in the bag. So you now have four more slots to put equipment in. Uh, and here's a Mr. Everywhere. That's number eight. So make sure you smash him. And then we're going to have a quick look at our inventory, see what we can drop off. Uh, what do we drop off? The No, we'll keep all this stuff, don't we? No? Yeah, no. Chemicals go. Okay. Gunpowder's gone as well. Uh, and I do with the... You can carry up to five herbs. I do like to put one or two away, so I've just got three. There's no reason that you're going to need three healing items quickly. If you, you do, you're, getting, you're going quite wrong. Uh, so just so you can pick up more herbs, because once you go onto the sixth one, it's going to take up a new slot. So I just like to drop one or two off now and again. Uh, and then obviously make a save and then run and get the burner grip. We're going to be making a flamethrower. There are going to be some flies. We're back to old school Resident Evil. Remember the dog in the first one? Come bursting through the window. Uh, I'd, it looks pretty goofy use, <laughs> using the knife on these things, but honestly, it's the easiest thing to do. Uh, you can see there, they just kind of fly around for a bit, and then they sit in front of you just before they strike. That's the best time to try and uh, kill them, is just before they try, uh, try and hit you. So yeah, we're going to be making a flamethrower. I do have the lockpick still. If you do have it, then uh, open this drawer up. I'm going to get a first aid med. Uh, don't worry if you don't, or if you've used it elsewhere, that's fine. It, there's nothing of importance in any of these drawers. So what we're doing here is another trophy. This is slash, 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 slashity, slash. So there are spiders on here. Don't get too close. The spiders will jump off at you. And then just slice them uh, and completely clear the door off, and you're going to get the trophy. That is The trophy is for cleaning the door off specifically with a knife. So they will jump at you if they are. Just stand back slightly uh, and just move forward slightly if you need to. If you're missing still, you'll find the sweet spot where you, you don't get hit. And then we're going to go outside. You've got another lockpick here. So if you didn't have one, you can use it on that drawer now. And we're going to go and get the burner nozzle. 
So here's one of these nests in a moment. This one flies around wherever you see them. This nest here, don't bother trying to kill it yet. It's easiest done with uh, the flamethrower, which we're going to get in a moment. So yeah, try and get the flies before they spot you. It just makes life easier. And in here we have the burner nozzle. We're going to stick these th two things together. Got a herb here as well. We'll make ourselves a flamethrower. This area, the old house, is pretty much the only area you'd use the flamethrower. I I didn't really use it much after this, to be honest. It doesn't. It's not the. I don't know. Maybe it is good against certain other enemies, but I just prefer to use a gun <laughs> and try and go for the headshot rather than just try and burn them. But it's good against the flies and things like that. So that's what we're going to do use it on. So when you've got the big group of flies there, obviously you can use the burn. I'm sure it didn't, it's quite realistic that it does this where the exposure goes um, really dark when the, obviously there's a white hot flame in front of us. Uh, that's how it would really happen on a camera. I'm sure it didn't do this in the PS4 version, unfortunately it is doing it here. It's going quite dark so whenever I use the flamethrower it's going to do that where the exposure is going to sort of drop. Uh, you're not going to be able to see too much, but um, yeah, so I do apologise for that. When you go through here, there's going to be some more flies. Uh, with the flamethrower, I like to do kind of bursts, because you don't want to burn through all of your fuel straight away. And if something does catch fire, just give it a minute to take some damage. And then we're going to go in this room. There's another nest in here with some more flies. So this, it, it looks like we're just wasting the fuel at this point. There's some big flies coming out of this one as well. We need to get rid of this one quickly. There we go. Right. So I'm exactly zero. So it does look like I just wasted them, but it, I haven't, honestly. There is a cabinet next to me with uh, 120 flame fuel in it, so it's definitely worth getting. Unfortunately, I don't have any flame fuel left, so I'm going to have to use the knife again. If you do have flame fuel, just give it a couple of blasts. It quickly gets rid of these spiders without any uh, damage. I think this is the top one where I have to, yeah, I have to move forward slightly. Yeah, and they jump at you. It's a bit of a pain, to be honest. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> you do have to clear them to be able to open it, though. I don't have enough room, so we're actually going to craft some. So this is number four, uh, sorry, number five now. So I've we've also able to do flame rounds at this point, but we don't need those yet. So make some burner fuel. And then tick that off your list. That's the that's five of them built, uh, crafted that we've done now. Done both health, both bullets, and now the flame of fuel. And then grab them once you uh, got some room. So there's no Marguerite's not active yet, so don't worry about that. She's not active until we go and get uh, a certain something, which we're going to get in a moment. Again, we're just going for a bit of inventory management here. Drop some stuff off. Always try and run light, uh, like I've said previously, so you're able, able to pick up as much as you can while you're out exploring. Obviously, don't need cycle stimulants. Don't need a lockpick right now. Flame of fuel can stay. Uh, drop a couple of herb off, because I'm on five then, so just drop a couple off. Don't need the super strong healing at this point. I'd, I'd save that primarily for bosses, and then do uh, a save there. Now we're going to go and clear some more bugs out of the uh, the only room we've not been in yet. Which was the dining room? Was it the living room or dining room? Anyway, as soon as you walk through there's going to be a nest directly ahead of you. So yeah, it's doing the exposure thing. I'm sure it didn't do this in the PS4 version. Maybe this is just a PS5 thing. There is another nest in this room, but I'm just going to leave it for now. We're just going to duck underneath here. And turn around, and behind this pallet is Mr. Everywhere number 9. And down the stairs is Antique Coin number 10. And in here is the stone statuette. So once you pick this up, this is where Marguerite becomes active. So don't worry, she's not going to come chasing after you. After you, uh, here's Mia. There's a little cutscene here. I'm just, I'm just going to skip that. You can watch it, obviously. Just checking corners. You never know what's around. 
Uh, now we're going to specifically go for the, not the door, don't go through the door we just came out of. We're going to use this one and there is a reason for that. So you might have to get rid of this other nest if you haven't done already. It's good just to get rid of them. Um, so you can freely move around, run around if Marguerite starts chasing you. You've got the flies bothering you as well. Uh, yeah, like I said, flame fuel, you're not going to use it too much after this area anyway, so don't go saving it, use it, it's fine. And you can also craft some more if you need to. Solid fuel there is what we'll need to do it. So go through this door, or try to go through this door, and Marguerite will push it back on you, telling you kindly to stay away. <laughs> And then this is scripted, it will happen, the spiders will jump on you. You can clear it if you want. So the reason I did that is I wanted to make it through here and back into this other room without her spotting me, she, but she is right there. If you do it the other way around, she will be in that room. Um, so I just wanted to make, th make it through here. I was hoping she wouldn't spot and she'd stick in the room, but she didn't. So what we're going to do now that she's active is just get two trophies quickly. So we're going to do a save and then revert on that save. Revert back to it. So let's keep all that. Do a proper save now. Because we're going to load this save up. We're just going to waste all of our ammo. Uh, so the two trophies we're getting is less is more. So killing two enemies with one shotgun blast. That's easiest done on these small swarms of flies. Which she has around her. And then we also going to get back off with Mrs. B, which is for making her run away, basically. So when the flies start, give it a couple of shotgun blasts, and you should get less is more. And then just use everything you've got on Marguerite to make her run away. So obviously, we don't want to do. We're going to burn, go through or burn through all the fuel, literally, all your shotgun shells and everything. It does take quite a lot. So just throw everything you've got at her until she does this. She's going to push you over and then run away. And you're going to get back off Mrs. B. So obviously we've used everything up and we don't want that. So we're going to go back. So I'm going to just go back to the save. Loaded the save up and we'll carry on. As normal. Which will be this statue here. The statue we just got. Statuette. And similar to the other one, just spin it round, it's a spider. You have done this one already, we did it in that uh, that cutscene, that, um, that bit with Mia. So you don't need to be accurate, but accurate enough will do. And we'll crawl through. I think this is the one with the centipedes in it all over him. I don't know how you'd stay quiet, I guess he doesn't, does he? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Luckily, we don't get them that big over here. So this is the same bit we crawled through with uh, Mia in the video. And once you come out the yeah, other side, so on the other side of the, the hole now, basically, uh, you've got some solid fuel here. And you've got some herbs here, or a herb. You've got a chem fluid up in the drawer here. And then the note on the door is file number 15, so read that. Or not necessarily read it, but act, you know, interact with it. You don't have to read it if you don't want to. Marguerite's warning. So I'm showing you there, make sure we've got it. And then we're going to go into that same hole that Mia went into as well. But this time we're actually going to get the crank and leave the hole. So there is a wooden crate here. So this potentially will be psycho stimulants. Hopefully it's something better, to be honest. We do need one, so save one psycho stimulants for the end of this video, for the end of the after the boss fight. Because there's lots of random stuff. It's definitely random during this boss fight. So get Mr. Everywhere there off the shelf as well. Grab the crank and then these couple of flies will appear. Uh, yeah, save the psycho stimulants because the boss area is quite large um, and there's lots of random items. It's going to be different for you, definitely going to be different for you than it is for me. Uh, but even bet between my two attempts, we do two attempts on purpose. 
uh, the items change. So just use that crank. So that allows us to run across there basically. And I'm actually going to go back this way rather than uh, go across the plank and through the doors because I want to go back to the save room quickly. And I know Marguerite's least likely to find us if we go through here again. So it should be safe enough. And we're just going to drop off because we want to make sure we can grab everything from this uh, room we're about to go in. There's four different items. So you need to make sure you've got enough room for everything. So drop the psycho stims off. You don't need those. What else, what else are we dropping off? We need the crank. Definitely keep the crank on you. And drop another one of those off. I think I get rid of the burner fuel now. Yeah, the one they could have got rid of the one bullet there. That would have been okay. But I've got enough room. That's fine. Because the first aid is just going to go into the first aid slot. So she will be around here now somewhere when you go through these doors. It's just flies here. If you just see the flies, you can just get rid of those. Obviously use the the flame, don't use your shotgun. So hopefully she's to the right of you, so you can just go through this door, but she's not. She surprises me, she's right here in the corner. <laughs> There's a new nest there as well that will appear once she starts walking around. If she's in that room, run round, do a quick circuit. That's why we cleared all the nests before, so we don't have to bother with them all. She's still in the room, but I'm just going to make a run for it. These flies, what hits me now is the little flies from the nest are following me. I fired a gun. I was <laughs> supposed to switch to the flame, but never mind. Yeah, make sure you're clear, and then we're going to get rid of these flies here. There's quite a few. We've already got rid of the nest. And then we can use the crank on here. And uh, gets the croaky. Croaky. Uh, you may remember that in the main house, main mansion, there is also uh, a crow door, a croaky door. We'll be using that in the next video as well. So grab the first aid, grab the croaky. You've got an antique coin here, that's the most important thing. Well, second most important thing. And then you've got burner fuel in the toilet. So always keep reloading. I saw her through the window then. I'm waiting for her to go past so I can make a run for it. And we're making a run for it. I'm going to run across that bridge now. The one that we dropped down earlier. Because that's where we're trying to go to the, uh, the door. So make sure you're healed up. You're loaded up. Because you are going to go in straight into a little bit of a fight here. So once... Yeah, shotgun's good. Pistol's good as well. Just load up ready. So as soon as you pro approach this door, she's going to throw you backwards. You're going to go through the floor. And then you need to uh, take her down. She's easy enough because she doesn't actually move. She doesn't chase you down or anything. It's just the flies that are a problem. So just keep... Try and get headshots if you can. I actually managed to get one. It's a miracle. And when you start seeing the flies and things like that, you can either switch to the knife, try and hit them. If you've got a minute, if she's uh, lying on the floor like that. Or just use the flame and it should sort of get everything as you go. Oops, got hit in the face then. I don't know why I was put, uh, face, facing down. I try and hit them, but yeah, it, it's quite difficult. Even when they've stopped. Oh, I managed to get both of them. That's good. Yeah, don't go too... Obviously, you want to do a lot of damage. But as soon as she sort of stumbles like that, you obviously don't want... You want to stop because that's the whole interaction finished. And once, he does, once she does drop down, climb up the ladder. Because that stuff is going to hurt you. Uh, 
Okay, so lots of back and forth here. We, you think we're going to be good? This is a new area, but no, we need to go back and actually do a proper boss fight. We need that lantern of hers. So this is file number 16. Open up this freaky, freaky briefcase and get to the file there. You need to read it. Make sure you read it. And you're going to get serum documentation. That's like a nightmare packed lunch, that, isn't it? The phone should start ringing. If it does, answer it, obviously. Well, it will ring and then answer it. I'm going to skip it. It's Zoe again. Just checking for items, and then we're going to go into this room here. You've got some burner fuel in the drawer. Hopefully it is burner fuel and it's not going completely random on you. And then we've got Marguerite's notebook here. This is file number 17. And then we're going to get the final two collectibles that we need for the area. And that's Mr. Everywhere and an antique coin right here. So as you missed it everywhere and your antique coin is in the drawer here. So we're getting through there, halfway through the probably the game to be honest at this point I would say. There is a, a large section where there isn't too much collectibles, not to give much away. We do change characters for a moment, for a, a brief period. So get those two and then we're triggering this. This is what we've, we've gone in there for. So that's freaky <laughs> yeah so once you see the grab uh, and she's disappeared then uh, go down the ladder and follow her that's special that's special indeed and we're going to be back outside and we're going to be at that gate the one that I accidentally tried to go through at the beginning and this is another way Back to the trailer. So if you've got the space, just grab this treasure photo. It's going to trigger the treasure to appear in the trailer. It's in the toilet. And if you've got the space, obviously grab this strong chem fluid as well. You'll need to unlock the gate first. A dead ahead here, underneath the trailer. There, you can just kind of make it out, kind of. If you just go underneath the trailer, there is some shotgun shells. I don't find them until... Um, I use the Psycho Stims later on, but there are some if you want to get them now. And now we're just going to drop off some stuff. We don't need the uh, the photo anymore. We don't need the keys anymore. The the crank, we don't need that. Here's the, the treasure. So that's now made that Magnum Ammo spawn. So put that away as well. We don't need that. Keep some solid fuel. Because that's, uh, that's going to make burner ammo. And then do a quick save because we're off to do a boss fight twice ish. So, yeah, there's the chem fluid outside here. So, we can now make um, some more burner stuff. I, I just remember at this point, there's actually a lock, put, lock pick box up here. So, I'm going to go back and get that. Yeah, I just remembered. So, we'll go and get that. There is a lock pick. You don't need to get it now because we can get it later on. So, just carry on for now. Uh, because it's just flame rounds which we will go and pick up later on anyway so don't worry about getting getting the lockpick now I'm just dropping off the strong stuff had some extra shotgun shells there I didn't realize there it is I knew I had one I'm just taking stock now we're going to do the boss fight. So we're going to be going the same as we did with Jack. We're going to be going into the boss fight, getting a trophy, then restarting it again. Uh, because we're just going to quickly run into the boss fight and miss quite a few items. Uh, this is stuff you can do before the boss fight. So these items will be the same for you. And everything else, once you drop down, is going to be randomized. So you've got some herbs there. You've got some solid fuel here leave that for now you're not going to need that and then you can open this drawer or do it later we'll be back in here to collect everything so don't worry uh, flame rounds which we don't have the, the grenade launcher yet so don't, don't worry about that 
Honestly, I completely forgot was in what was in the drawer. I just remember there was a lockpick. So there's going to be a quick save, uh, an auto save is going to happen as you drop down. Uh, we're going to use that later on. So instead of exploring, we're just going to start the fight off. Uh, and we're going to be getting the trophy Fly Swatter. So as you walk up these stairs, she's going to burst through. Uh, you want to just push her back, use a pistol or something. So she lets go. And then we're going to go upstairs and head outside. I almost get this straight away. I was lucky with the, the kind of setup. But just too slow on the trigger. So go outside. This is the best place to do this because... Um, there's more room. Basically, she's going to cra crawl around on the ceilings and then she's going to jump towards you. So you need to get her into the crawling state. So do some damage and then when she's crawling, she's going to turn her head. And I almost get it, but she jumps over the top of the lamppost instead of towards me. Uh, otherwise, I would have had it straight away. But that's what we're trying to do. As she jumps towards you, you want to shoot her out of midair uh, and get the fly swatter. So use the shotgun for it because it's got the, obviously, stopping power. Yeah, so I'm going to have to wait a moment for her to uh, to come back. If you do it in a building downstairs or upstairs anywhere where you're actually inside, the ceiling's obviously a lot lower. She's going to be a lot closer. The time is not as good. You don't have as much time to respond to her jump. So out here, you can put quite a lot of distance be between you and her. So just wait up here. She'll be back. Make sure you're loaded. You may need to get her into the crawling state again. If she doesn't appear straight away, just walk slightly off to this room over here, to the right. Here she is. And then just wait for her to look towards you. And she's about, oh, I always thought she was doing it there. She's about to do it now. And then boom. And then shoot her out of the sky. And you're going to get fly swatter. So the reason we're, and then restart the checkpoint again. So we'll uh, do this properly now. So everything will be the same, you'll be back up here again, you get your flame rounds and everything. Leave all those for now, and we'll drop down, and then we'll explore a little bit now, and set everything up for the boss fight properly. Uh, the reason I did that is you may, it may take you a while to get through all the shot, uh, get the trophy, and you don't want to burn through all your shotgun ammo. So yeah, there's going to be crates and things everywhere, there's all sorts, so keep an eye out. Uh, we're going to use some psycho stims, we're going to come back in here after the boss fight, use some psycho stims, and... Uh, find everything it's going to be different for you so hopefully you get some good stuff and not too much useless crap in these cabinets it might stay the same to be honest so just burn them off the fight doesn't start until you go up the stairs so just prepare everything down here open that locker up you can't go through that door ahead yet and then go up and we're going to do pretty much the same as what we just did, which is go outside. You've got the most room out there. It was three It was three shots last time, so I thought it was good with the ammo I had, but no, she took more shots this time. If you just run up here, you can quickly burn these off. And grab what's in here. And then if you head outside, there's going to be a couple of things on the bench out here. You've got some ammo, you've got some burner fuel over here. It's going to be different, potentially. Get everything loaded up and ready. And then you're just waiting for her to appear. Like I said previously, if she doesn't appear straight away, just head towards that door on the right. I'm going to need to do it in a moment. Just look, keep looking up in the sky as well. She, look, she can appear from anywhere. Don't go inside though, because she might jump at you. There she is, she jumped off the building now. So it's best to try and listen to her. Yeah, get her onto all fours like that, and then give her a couple of shotgun blasts. You want to aim for that squishy bit in the middle if you can. A bit slow on the reload there, never mind. And she'll jump away. And this is basically, it's a bit of a cat and mouse thing. You can, as long as you hit her hard when she appears, you're probably not going to take any damage. The only th problem is um, that she might jump on you when you're not expecting it, when you don't know where she is, or the flies. So if she's out of shot like she is now, she's going to be making some weird noises and then two flies will appear and then she will potentially follow them up, so beware. Flame of Fuel is okay. You obviously don't want to use loads of it to get rid of them. Wait till they stop together. 
So flame, the reason I'm using flame is because uh, we're not going to use it much after this anyway. Let's give it a couple of blasts. This is the downside of this shotgun, obviously the two shots from this thing. There, she's off again. And we'll have a quick look down here, see what we can find. So there's a drawer here, hopefully got something nice in here. There is an item there, there's a box here. There's one on the lawnmower, it was chemical so I don't need it. And then we'll go back up. There are some other things in the other rooms as well, we'll go and get those in a minute. You don't want to leave it too long between uh, when she disappears. So I'm just going to craft some more flame fluid here. Flame fuel. I think this is the safest space, the safest place. But again, you might need to walk to the, towards this door to get her to jump off behind. If you go in there, she might grab you. So do watch out for that. Where's she gone? There she is. There, nice. Let me see those squishy bits. <laughs> Scrubs. <laughs> you can shoot her off the ceiling like that, which is good. And don't get too close when she thrashes. And away she goes again. I need a quick heal now. Took a bit of damage there. She's doing the fly thing again at this point. So you just need to wait for them to appear. I would usually wait and try and get them with the knife with these flies like we have been doing. But she does follow them up pretty quickly and can just appear out of nowhere. So you need to, there we go, see? So you need to be ready to take care of her rather than the flies. Did she drop down? Where's she going now? There, we got her. Rather than reload, I just went for the, uh, the old pistol on this. Because she's going to run away again anyway. In here you've got another spider cabinet. There is stuff everywhere. All, honestly, it's everywhere. There's some in this plant here, just to the left. And there's something behind that in the vase as well. This is why we use the uh, the psycho stims later when we come back. Because you, you, you don't realise how much you actually miss. How much is in here. It's everywhere. So it does, this fight is quite long to be honest. It's a lot easier, weirdly, on Madhouse when we have the circular saw. You wouldn't think this fight would be easier on Madhouse, but it is. I think this is when we get the kill shot. Any moment now. Yes, there. So when she does that, she is dying. So good stuff. Excellent. Should not be difficult at all this fight. The most difficult thing will probably be getting the trophy. You don't need to shoot her to shatter or anything. Just leave it and wait. She'll uh, break away. And you got the lantern. That's what we came for. So you do a brief little sweep and then we'll come back. Uh, we'll go to the trailer again. Unload so we've got loads of room left. And then we'll uh, we'll do a proper sweep of this place with some psycho stims. So we're on the couch here. Here's some. So if they are here, hopefully they're there for you. You should have some anyway. Yeah, I've not got enough room. I was thinking, well, should we do it now? But this is the room we want to go to. This is how we get out. And just stand here until this just breaks away. Again, I still think we're random at this point, but hopefully that's shotgun shells for you. And then you unlock this door, and we are outside again. Don't forget that if you missed it. I 
and then drop off. You can drop the lantern off now, keep the stims, drop everything else off within reason. You need quite a lot of space. So drop the lantern off. You're going to use the stims as well. So that will free up a slot. And then we'll clear everything out. Might as well grab everything because we'll just need it later on. So back upstairs. If you didn't use the lockpick, use it now. Flame rounds are quite good later on. We can craft them as well, which is good. So use them. Shouldn't be anything else in that room. And then drop down and start searching around everywhere. There, we missed those from earlier on. I didn't unlock this door. I should have unlocked this door. It's fine. We can drop down from the other side. And then just keep running around and looking for the little uh, little white dots. And grab everything. So yeah, it's going to be all completely random. It's going to be different. So you got some med there. Got some burner fuel over here. some chem and then in this drawer and then that's the door back out so you should be okay to grab everything I reckon and that's it we'll uh, we'll leave that's this area done well this specific house we need to go back into the original old house and uh, go through the door with the lantern now so we've got three more enemies so here we go here's these shotgun shells I mentioned earlier and we'll uh, drop stuff off. There is something dead ahead of me right there. I just saw it on the screen. You can see there, it's just at the top of the black box. I was obviously concentrating on what I was doing, but there is an item. Don't we? We'll, we've not been that way yet anyway. We'll grab it later on. Do need the lantern. Make sure you've got the lantern. That's the most important thing. You need the shotgun and some ammo. It's going to be the best bet here because we're going to be going up against three mold. Well, two mold creatures. We're going to run away from one of them. I want to go back to the main house. So either way, you can go through the sewers or run this way back through the main entrance. Oh, not sewers, but the we know where the ladders were. I'm going to go back through that crow door and use the uh, lantern. Couldn't think of it. I was going to say arm, but no, that's what we're going picking up. Make sure you walk around. Give that hole a wide berth because you can easily fall down it. And now it's very, very dark in here. Very dark. There's no enemies to start with until we have the D-series arm. So don't worry about it, just get your bearings because it is dark. I'll try and explain best I can. So this first room, look for the alligator and go round this shutter or this divider into this room here. And then you're going to go round the sofa. And there's a door on the other side of that. And then through this door, straight in across to the right to the next door. This room's full of mold. You want to go left in this one. It's very linear, but it is dark, so I'm trying to explain where we're going. Straight through this door and to the left. And then it's going to go very dark here. So just stop when it goes dark. It's done. It does this on purpose. It's telling you to stay away. And then you can move forward. And this is the, uh, the last door into the bedroom. So go round the bed. And just nudge into this wall here. It's going to open up. Oops. And then grab the D-series arm. That is miserable. <laughs> oh my god. That is horrible. Okay. So that's also quite terrifying if you're not expecting it. 
it's when they don't make a noise that it's the scariest. Right, through this door there's going to be a mould straight away, so have your shotgun ready and take his head smooth off. Clean off. Hopefully. You do get a quick save after coming out of that hole again, so if you are struggling you can always use that. So go through, round to the left here, through the door on the right. Right, there's gonna, we're in the mould room again now, there's going to be a mould which will appear. Again, take his head clean off. Oh, it didn't work. Must have hit the arm slightly. I'm not going to try and use two shotgun shells on a mould. I'll use one and then switch to the pistol. Right, the next one we're just going to run straight past because we don't need to fight it. And it's one of the ones with the, the, the more powerful arm. So go round here, through the door, into the room with the couch. And then the final room is the one with the divider. The monster is behind the divider, so just run straight for the door go there we go it should completely miss you and there he is so don't worry he's not going to follow you just keep going there's no point taking him out if we don't have to the phone is going to ring as you go through i believe you don't actually have to answer it this time but we're going to Did you find it? because we were able to progress so yeah just answer it anyway we'll see it's so quite a short one this time, and it's not Zoe. It's uh, someone else. No, sorry, it is Zoe. No, this one is Zoe. Sorry. <laughs> that one is Zoe. Don't worry, the creature's not going to get you. Now you've got two options going back. You can drop down here, or you can go through the main door. I think they're equidistant, so it doesn't really matter. It might seem longer this way because you've got to go up and down the ladders. But whichever doesn't really matter. Just head to the trailer. Uh, and once you go through the gate, we're going to get the trophy. The grave will out the truth, which is a story trophy. And up and out through the gate. There we go. And now we're just going to get one final file. Yeah, the phone rings as you come into here because, yeah, you're expecting Zoe, but she's not here. Uh, somebody else is going to be on the phone, so speak to them. I'm just going to cut that out now. He's going to tell you to look in the fridge, which is what we're going to do. We're going to find the deputy's head. I don't know how it's whole, but it definitely wasn't. Is it whole? Uh, no, no, it's not. Is it? It's got the top missing. It's got that weird mould. Anyway, turn it round. Uh, and read the note on the back. This is file number 18, memo on deputy's head. That's grim. But yeah, that's us, that's us done for this area. It's back into the mansion after this one for the next video. Uh, nowhere near as long this time. So just uh, do a bit of management. We don't need to keep the arm on us, so drop that off for now. Look at me actually organizing. I had to do it the right way around. Correct ammo underneath and everything. Right, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it for this one. So uh, make a save, and uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.